Hi everyone, I'm Song Min Lee from Georgia Tech. I'm going to talk about MISVIS, which explains web misinformation connections via visual summary. I'm presenting on behalf of other co-authors, Sadia, Hegu, Jay, Omar, Vivor, Ankit, and Polo. As the internet has become the major source of information for many people, identifying web misinformation has become crucial. However, most existing methods have primarily focused on alerting users of misinformation without any explanation. We introduced MISVIS that helps users better assess misinformation websites and understand their connections with other websites. MISVIS has two windows, main window and Twitter user window. First, I'd like to introduce what main window works like. There are two views in main window and the first view is summary view, which summarizes the distributions of hyperlinked sites of a target website. Here, the gatewaypundit.com is set as the target website to be visualized. There are donut charts that illustrate the distributions of the website mentioning the target site with different colors for different reliability labels. It consists of two rings, the inner ring for one hub neighbor site and the outer ring is for two hub neighbor sites. In the center, the percentage of misinformation websites is displayed. Hovering over each arc reveals more details of the arc. Users can change settings using the panel below. The graph mode can be switched between normalized ratio and the absolute number. Also, users can choose the categories to be displayed show or hide the outer ring from the donut charts, and show the graphs for the hyperlinks that the target website is containing. The second view of main window is the graph view, which reveals the connections among the sites that have hyperlinks to the target website. Users can switch into the graph view by clicking the button in the setting panel. In graph view, each website is represented with a circular node, and the hyperlinks are shown as the edges connecting the two nodes. Hovering over each node highlights the connections and displays the domain name. All the other settings work the same as in the summary view. Next, Twitter user window describes the characteristics of the Twitter users that mention the site. It is shown when user clicks into the social media button. First, we illustrate the distributions of the websites shared by the Twitter users who have mentioned the target website. Below, the number of both accounts sharing the website is shown. For more improvements, we are planning to conduct human evaluation, collect user feedback, provide with more detailed explanations, and deploy MISVIS as a web browser extension. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you all for listening.